Hello, welcome to G Cinema. Godzilla Minus One director Takashi Yamazaki has opened up about the specific kind of villain he wants to see in a sequel. The latest Japanese produced movie about the famous monster sees him arrive in Japan right after the end of World War II, causing chaos and destruction across the country. The film's presentation goes back to the roots of the 1954 original, with the titular Kaiyu once again the antagonist. However, speaking with H.J. Webb, Yamazaki expressed interest in creating Godzilla Minus One Two, featuring a new monster as a villain. The director expressed interest in a direct sequel that would carry on the tradition of Godzilla being featured alongside other Toho giants. Godzilla Minus One didn't feature any monsters aside from its titular behemoth, focusing on his destructive nature as he attacked Japan. By going back to the kaiju's roots, the film was able to garner worldwide success, having earned over $100 million at the box office as of writing, against an estimated $15 million budget. This financial success warrants a sequel to be made, which could feature any number of monsters from Toho's past. Godzilla Minus One's ending didn't hint at any returning monsters for a follow-up, meaning it's up in the air which ones could be featured in another movie. The sequel could pull inspiration from 1955's Godzilla Raids again, by introducing Anguirus as a rival to the monster. It could also feature a more prominent antagonist like King Ghidorah or Mechagodzilla, providing a familiar basis for a worldwide audience. However, Yamazaki doesn't indicate if Godzilla would become a hero in the sequel, something that seems unlikely given his propensity for destruction. It's possible Godzilla Minus One's sequel will feature a kaiju team up, with humanity now forced to deal with two threats at the same time. While it's still unclear if a sequel will be happening, Yamazaki's plans indicate just how enthralling a follow up film could be. <laughs> Godzilla.